Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to talk in this lesson about the volume of a cube. And you'll see by the end of this what this has to do with maybe um, like doctor shows or um, like hospital shows when you see a doctor running around you're like, nurse, give me 1,500 cc's of hydrochloric acid or whatever. Hopefully they're not asking for hydrochloric acid. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the volume of a cube. First off, um, the volume is the space inside a solid figure, how much space it takes up, um, you know, the air inside there, or, you know, if you were to fill it up with water, how much water is filled up inside of a solid figure. Um, in general, when you're finding the volume, what you can do is if the top and the bottom of the shape are the same, so a cone would not work for this, but like a cylinder or a rectangular prism or a cube or something like that. If the bottom and the top are the same, you would find the area of the base. So the area of, in this case, a circle, or in this case, you find the area of a rectangle. And then you would multiply that times the height. Okay? That's the general rule for finding volume. You're going to use that when we, when we look at triangular prisms and rectangular prisms and um, like, not spheres, um, cylinders, and also today with, with cubes, we'll be using that same basic principle. But anything where the two, the base on the bottom and the base at the top are the same, we often call those base one and base two, when they're the same, you can just find the area of it and multiply it times the height, and that'll give you the, the volume. All right, with a cube, it's really nice. What a cube is is a solid figure where all the sides are squares. In other words, this side is a square where this is 10, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, and this side is a square, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, and this side is a square, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. So when we find the area of the bottom, that would be the side times the side, and then we multiply that times the height, we're actually multiplying the same number times itself three times. So the volume of a cube can be shown using this equation. The volume of a cube is the side cubed, or to the power of three. Hence the, why we call this to the power of three cubed, all right? Because we're, we're moving into three dimensions, just like this cube. So if we're given one side length, for example, this one's three, and we're told that it's a cube, we can just say three to the power of three, or three cubed, which is the same as saying three times three times three, which is 27. We also have to remember that when we're working with centimeters, this would be cubic centimeters written as centimeters to the power of three, all right? So this is 27 cubic centimeters inside of this cube. Let's look at one with um, meters. Again, volume is equal to side to the power of three, or side cubed. So this one here is 15 meters. Well, let's do 15 to the power of three. It gives us 3,375 cubic meters. That would be how many little cubes would fit inside of the volume of this entire larger cube. All right? And it's 3,375. That's probably why I didn't draw it in there. All right. Now, the big question is, what in the world does that have to do with what I said at the beginning? The nurse, give me 1,500 cc's. Well, here's what it is. When, you me when a measurement is in cc's, it's referring to cubic centimeters. All right, so here is one cubic centimeter. It's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, length, width, and depth, or length, width, and height, I'm sorry. Um, so one cubic centimeter is one cc. And the volume inside of that, if you were to pour water and fill up one cubic centimeter, is exactly one milliliter. All right, so when they say, give me 250 cc's, that's 250 cubic centimeters. 250 milliliters, that's about a cup. All right, so obviously a nurse wouldn't be getting, you know, 1,000 cc's of something to, you know, inject into a syringe or something. But um, some general ideas, uh, um, 255 milliliters is about a cup. Um, but that's where cc's come into play. Basically, they're measuring in cubic centimeters, which is just a volume measurement that's equivalent to one milliliter. So hopefully that helps you learn something random and new. And 
again, the volume for a cube equation is pretty straightforward. It's the side length to the power of 3, so multiply times itself 3 times.